Howdy Moz fans and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This week we're going to chat about what is sometimes known as the keyword plus year hack. This is the idea that you take a keyword that has some existing search volume and you add on a date, uh, either the uh, a month or a month and a year, and you are able to outrank um, many of the other players because it's a much less competitive space. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It helps to have an example. So let's say there are a good number of people every year who search for the best web designs, right? They want to get uh, design inspiration or they just uh, want to see what's out there. They're looking for the design gallery, so they search for best web designs. Many times, though, those folks will get results from the last five to ten years and they'll see those in there and they'll go, you know, I want something more modern, more updated. And so they will revise their query to best web designs 2016. In fact, many people even start with these queries, right? So they want to see um, the top Android games of January 2017, right? They want to see the um, uh, best uh, summer dishes 2017. Uh, right, for planning on cooking something. They're looking for like something that is trendy. Maybe they're looking around fashion or uh, you see this a lot in searches around hairstyle or uh, anything that is grading uh, products or services, right? Um, who are the best real estate agents in Seattle? No, no, not the 2012 edition of Seattle Met Magazine. I want 2017. Who are the best real estate agents in Seattle? 2017. And so they'll add this year on there. What's great is because this uh, year or month only happens like as it happens, right? Those searches only happen as we get to that time period. The keyword research will not expose it to you, right? So if, if for example, uh, let's make this 2017, right? So best web designs 2017. We're filming this Whiteboard Friday in January. There have only just started to be a few searches for best web designs 2017. There have only just started to be a few any keyword searches that include the word 2017 because 2017 has just started. Therefore, your competitors are not seeing those in their keyword research list. They're not targeting them. There's not a ton of content out there yet. And so it's easier, even though the volume tends to be lower right, than, the, than the usual keyword. Sometimes it's higher, but usually lower. Uh, you will find it is vastly easier to rank for. And it's also the case, this is sort of beautiful, if you're using this tactic, even though it's higher in volume to have you know, best web designs versus best web designs 2017, the, the one without the year, it is often the case that Google will bias to show more recent content, especially if there are lots of searches that get revised to include the temporal you know, number or, or date. That is awesome because it means that you can win twice. You can you know, rank for this one, which of course the search volume for it will die off at the end of the year, but you might be able to rank for this one as well. And if you can keep that updated, right, and change it up and add to it, uh, retire the old one, move the old one over to an old URL, put the new one up at the new URL, uh, or, or keep the same URL if you're trying to build on top of the link authority that you've built to that URL, you can have some awesome ranking and traffic power. How do you do this? Uh, well, so you want to conduct the keyword research without using the date, right? So I'm looking, I'm going to start with non-date keywords. So if, if I'm in Keyword Explorer or if I'm doing my keyword research in AdWords or wherever I am, right, I would search for best web design, get a big list of my target keywords. Then I would go look at last year numbers. So for example, I would search for 2016 best web design or best web design 2016 or anything from my keyword export uh, or list that includes years. I would go two and three years ago so that I could get a sense for the volume that includes the year. I would also be looking for month at this time. Then I'd use Google Trends, or if you're not a fan of Google Trends, uh, they can be a little squirrely with some data. Uh, Similar Web and JumpShot also have keyword trend data, at least at the head of the demand curve, that can be good. Uh, and try and identify some of that seasonality. If you see that there's a high season that includes uh, a particular month, that's often an indication that month plus year could be there, and then you can go and look in here, right? I could add May 2016 best web design to see if there's actually search volume for just the May uh, uh, keyword. And then I'm going to use Google SERPs, right? I'm going to check the, the keyword difficulty of those uh, SERPs, and I'd probably look to see how many different outlets are producing monthly or uh, annual content. For annual content, it's really going to be very January and February centric. That's when it all gets produced. Um, and then if it is underserved, 
right? That means there's more opportunity there. But even still, it's almost always a, a lower difficulty, easier to get in there. You want to target and create that timely content. So to do that, you're going to be using recent data. I want to use, if I were creating you know, a page to target best web design 2017, I would want to use designs that have come out in the last you know, month only, or maybe just at the very end of 2016. I want to employ emerging trends in language. So, you know, um, maybe it's PWAs, right? Um, maybe it is uh, language around clean design, whatever, whatever the trends in the field are right now. And then I want to try and serve the recency of the searcher's intent by giving them the ability uh, or showing right up front that my data is uh, and my information is very recent and that I'm helping them with what's going on now, ju not just uh, historically. You want to publish this content as early as you can in the period without doing it earlier, right? So what I don't want to do is have my launch be in December 2016. December is a very quiet period anyway. It's tough to get traction and attention. It's tough to build links. Uh, but it also can be the case that you won't hit the um, the search algorithms is recency, uh, you know, systems, right? Google has these uh, algorithms called um, the QDF, right? Query deserves freshness. And so if they see that you're producing that content, you know, a month or two months before it's actually the right date, there's going to be skepticism both from users, right, who might stumble upon it or find it, uh, but also from engines. And so you want to publish early in the period, but not any earlier than that. With this tactic, uh, yeah, you can hack your way to some pretty awesome traffic. I look forward to hearing from all of you who've done this, who are trying it, uh, and hear your experiences. We'll see you again next week for another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Take care.